from the Senate Judiciary Committee. Uh, Senator, why is the holdup? Explain why the, the, it's being held up and going to the Senate. What we know is that Chuck Schumer is doing everything he can do to avoid having a trial. He is going to do something never done in our nation's history before, and that is to table the articles of impeachment. Well, we're going to fight back on that, and it would be better if we were starting on a Monday and had the entire week to work on this rather than getting this on Wednesday evening and then having only a day to deal with it because we have a Secretary of Homeland Security who does not believe in securing the homeland. We have tens of thousands of people that have lost their life to fentanyl poisoning. We have women and children who have been sex trafficked. We have human trafficking at record numbers. We have labor gangs and crews and gangs that are committing crimes in communities. Our country is less safe. Our families, our communities are less safe because of Joe Biden's open border policy and the person that has done Biden's bidding on this border none other than Secretary Mayorkas. Yeah. He should stand for impeachment trial in the Senate. Well, he certainly lied about the, the, the border being secure. Absolutely. I mean, nobody, no, nobody has any doubts about that particular issue, except perhaps him some, for some reason. But uh, you are a fighter. I know that. You're fighting for this. Uh, but I'm wondering if Republicans are united. Are all Republicans for the impeachment trial going down? I think most Republicans, I've not talked to every single member, uh, do a survey and see what they say, uh, but we need to have an impeachment trial. The American people want the answers, and David, here's what we do know, is that you have vulnerable Democrats. They're going to lose the Senate, and Chuck Schumer does not want Sherrod Brown. He doesn't want John Tester. He doesn't want these vulnerable members, Rosen in Nevada. Uh, he doesn't want them having to take a vote on the border because the number one issue with the American people is the lack of border security that we are seeing in this right, country. Right. You know, this is an issue people see in their communities every single day. Every town's a border town, every state a border state because of this open border and people are furious and about and, it. and the bottom line as you say is that Democrats don't just don't seem to have a satisfying answer because they have That's to right. they have to cover up what's really going on with statements like what we heard from the White House spokesperson do we have that sound bite let me just play a sound bite for you and get your quick reaction sure. Look, the president has taken so many actions over the last three years, and he started off putting forth his own uh, his own uh, proposal, comprehensive immigration proposal, first day, first day that he walked in, the first piece of legislation that he wanted to move. Senator, Americans just are not buying the fact that, that President Biden wanted a more secure border when, in fact, it's multiplied by a factor of five or six. He took 94 executive actions the first 100 days yeah. that opened the border and weakened immigration law. The open border is his border policy. All right, Senator Marsha Blackburn, and we will see what uh, Mr. Schumer does next week, but it is going to be early next week uh, right. when we see those articles delivered to the Senate from the House. Thank you very much for being here. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Well, the Justice